coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next C++ made easy HD tutorial. And this tutorial we are going to be learning about what is known as multi sets. And the past few tutorials have been have been easy peasy lemon squeezy and these tutorials these upcoming tutorials are going to be even easier just because since we already have a good grasp on the standard template library everything about containers is going to be relatively easy and so we're going to be learning about multi sets today and it's a really uh it's a really simple concept and let me just zoom this in zoom this back in for you guys and we're just going to include the set class and um if you take a guess on what a multi set is it is just like a set um but you can have multiple elements with the same name so we can input uh we can have multiple elements with the same id before uh so we could have one one and we could have set insert and we could have 10 and we do the exact same thing again 10 and so on and so forth and we could uh display that to the screen and uh let's just create a quick iterator uh it and we'll just set to set dot begin and we're gonna say if it is not equal to set dot end and we'll say it plus plus oh did i put if supposed to be four sorry and let's do stdc out it and if we run this we get absolutely nothing that is quite weird um Um, the reason why it didn't work, uh, I did something really foolish. I called set.begin, but we never added anything to it yet, and it doesn't have a starting point to actually begin with. So let's say it set.begin, and let's run this one more time. And voila, we get this right here. So we get it in the order sort or sorted from least to greatest. Now, um, just to show you that it works differently than a set, let's just change this to a set and let's change this to a set right here. And let's run this. As you can see, it excludes the other elements. We can't have multiple elements with the same key or with the same ID, whatever you like to call it. But with a multi set, we can add in multiple names with uh, multiple IDs or multiple keys. So, for example, you had names in a database, and it's a possibility that other people could have the same name. For example, my name is Peter. Peter is a common name. So, if we, you want to have a database or something, and you want to loop to search through a database and have it in a specific order then a multi set would work better than a set in that in a set it would exclude the second name peter but in a multi set it would keep it there and you could have as many different things as you need so uh that is it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and the next tutorial is going to be just as easy so look out for that thanks for watching and bye for now